This is Steven. He wants to bake a cake for his daughter's fifth birthday. However, he needs to make sure that his assumptions about the process are right. I want to make sure that I get this process correct. There is so much to think about. Today is the day that Steven is introduced to the solution to his problem, a tool which will help him consider all aspects of cake making. In comes Sarah. Who knows all about side park? I hear you harboring worries surrounding the planning of the whole process. I am. I just so happen to know of a tool that will help you. Really? Yes. It's called SIPOC, which stands for Suppliers, Inputs, Process, Outputs, and Customers. How is it used? The SIPOC model details these five aspects for a specific process. Uh huh. By doing so it provides a snapshot of the end-to-end -end process capturing all relevant critical information. How can I use this? Let's run through the end-to-end -end process of baking a cake. Okay. We'll start with the suppliers. For you this will be a supermarket and a utility supplier. However, if you were a cake-making business this would change to a wholesaler. Your inputs would be the ingredients, the oven temperature setting, the recipe and the position in the oven. The process would be the steps of making the cake. The outputs would be a cake and the washing up. And the customer would be my daughter. That's right. Each task can be mapped out like this, and by doing so the process has been thoroughly planned. SIPOC gives you the boundaries of your process, giving you clarity before jumping headlong into the activity. Wow! I best get planning and baking using SIPOC in order to make the perfect cake. Stephen went on to bake the perfect cake. However, SIPOC does not just have to be limited to cake making. It can be applied to complex business processes too. When building your SIPOC, just remember to involve your stakeholders.